Hi, I'm Dan from Apex 66, where we give you the chance to win the ride of your life. And welcome to our very first competition. This is bike number one. So here we have bike number one, this brand new unregistered Yamaha Tracer 700. The Tracer 700 was born back in 2016, and there's some massive updates for 2020. Let's take a closer look. The styling of this bike has been brought bang up to date with Yamaha's latest R-Series range. The biggest noticeable change is to its face, which has gone on a massive diet. And this house is the new 65mm adjustable screen, which you can lift with one hand. The new reverse LCD screen is a really nice touch too, because it gives you really clear information that's not distracting. Now, a 700cc parallel twin with 74 brake horsepower shouldn't be that exciting, should it? How wrong could you be? This CP2 engine has got to be one of the best features about this bike. CP2 stands for cross-plane twin, and unlike a normal flat-plane crank, which the pins are 180 degrees apart, these are 90 degrees apart, and that means a much shorter firing interval. For you, the rider, that gives you a much clearer feeling of torque from the engine, which is really responsive and really easy to use. And for those of you that know what a cross-plane engine sounds like, I think you'll agree, it's pretty sublime. The Tracer 700 is a really usable city and commuter bike, but the engine just allows you to be as leery or as sedate as you want to be. Producing 68 newton meters of peak torque, this engine allows you to be really lazy, which is absolutely perfect for Sunday riding. And another staggering thing about the Yamaha Tracer 700 is the fuel economy. Kicking its ass, you will do well to get it below 60 mpg. This bike comes with ABS as standard, and the twin pot calipers up front are more than capable of stopping this machine. The biggest game changer for 2020 with this brand new Yamaha Tracer 700 is the upgrade to the suspension. The front forks are cartridge, fully adjustable for preload and rebound damping. And the same goes for the rear shock, it's fully adjustable for preload and rebound damping for a much more comfortable ride. The neutral riding position of this bike makes it probably one of the most versatile bikes on the market today. The seat is thicker than the 2016 model, which makes it incredibly comfortable. The handlebars on the 2020 model are 34mm wider, which means that the riding position is a little bit more relaxed and spacious. 